Shalom. This video is for educational purposes and entertainment purposes. What the hell is going on with the mega churches? <laughs> what is going on with these mega churches nowadays? They're exposing themselves. Okay. So we have another situation with another mega church that's just been exposed. Just like the the, the, the the that blasphemous New Year's party that got exposed all over. I did a video on that. We have another situation that just occurred in a mega church. Okay? An Ohio mega church. A pastor literally kicked the Bible off stage during Super Bowl Sunday service. And even uh, even uh even evangelical mega church in Ohio kicked off Super Bowl weekend with a sermon that has social media buzzing. It's all over the internet. It's all it's everywhere. You you can't miss that. They expose themselves. They expose themselves. Crossroads Church is the name of that mega church. Crossroads Church is a multi-site megachurch in Cincinnati, Ohio, led by senior pastor Brian. It is one of the fastest growing and largest churches in America, consisting of nearly 40,000 members spread across 14 locations in the Ohio and Kentucky area. So each year, they transform their church lobby into a stadium or a tailgate party and stage a Super Bowl of preaching uh, co contests between pastors who enter the arena like MMA fighters or boxers and play secular songs during intermission. There's a time and a place for all of that. But why do that in a church? Why can't you just... And we ain't even talking about the blasphemous kicking the damn Bible like if it was a football in the church and to the crowd. No, no, no. We're talking about... You can go home, have you know, have a little cookouts, get-togethers. Yeah, I could watch sports. Even though we know the Matrix, it's all staged, it's all fixed, it's all orchestrated. But, you know, with the right people who's that you surround yourself with the right people. Yeah, you can watch boxing, you can watch MMA, you can you, you can watch sports. You know, don't get too hype about it cuz it's all scripted, but yeah, it's it's nice to be around a group of people, watch the the fixed sport, joke, laugh, and enjoy, have a good time amongst good people. You know, good 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 energy. Good positive people, like-minded on the same spiritual journey like you. Okay, why are you doing that in the church? You're dressing up as MMA characters in a church, fighting, playing secular music. Like what? In a church? Nah, there's a time and a place for all of that. Do that in your homes. You know what I'm saying? You you know, mega churches are exposing themselves, and it's it's becoming more for entertainment than the actual than the actual church to speak to 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 spread the gospel. It's becoming a clown show these mega churches and they're doing it in your face they expose themselves okay so during their service crossroads church during their service P pastor um ali patterson and lead pastor brian uh tomei have a coin toss to see who gets to receive the bible resulting and Patterson booting it across the stage and into the crowd. Are you kidding me? Kicking a Bible across the room is blasphemous. It's literally blasphemous. They, if you see the video, you're just going to shake your head. 
God is not mocked. God is not mocked. First, first people overlook evil. Okay. And then people permit evil. And then people legalize evil. And then people promote evil. And then you got people who celebrate evil. And then you got people who persecute those who still call it evil. For we know that this battle is not against flesh and blood. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. There are spirits behind this all. Okay. Woe unto them who call evil good and good evil. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20. Yeah, I better pray for discernment. And have a relationship with your with Yeshua Jesus for yourselves. Have a relationship with him for yourself. Okay? Pray, pray for discernment, have a relationship with the most high for yourself. Okay? Because um spiritual warfare is real. It ain't fake, it's real. Okay? Evil is literally all around us. And it is looking to deceive and devour you. Okay? Sin does not take a break. Satan and these demons, they are not, they're, they're, they are not losing any sleep. Sin does not take a break. They got a job to do. Just like the most high got a job to do. Sin does not rest. It is he's out here roaming like a like a lion seeking to devour you. It it does not rest. There is constant temptation, constant wanting you to open these doors. It doesn't sleep. It doesn't take a break at all because they know they got a short time. They have a job to do. So it's not going to it's not going to rest. All right. And it hides. OK, and disguises itself. OK, evil hides and disguises itself in many forms, even as a false light, ladies and gentlemen, because Satan appears as an angel of light too, all right? And you will know them by their fruits. Matthew chapter 7, verse 16 through 20. So therefore, put on the full armor of God so you can stand against the schemes of the devil. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. Wake up. And tss, unplug from the matrix because hell is real and hell is still hot and heaven is still is, is still real and sin is still wrong. The Bible is God's word. Yeshua, Jesus, is the only way of salvation. Using God's holy word and the book of life as a football is blasphemous. It's blasphemous. It's shameful and slanderous. And these people are pastors. And they're pastors. Satan was literally having a field day in that church. He was laughing. He was laughing. He was having a field day in that church. They expose themselves. Run. Run from mega churches. <laughs> and run from mega churches and any church that makes you feel comfortable in sin. Run from these churches. Pray for discernment. Run from these churches. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, y'all. God is literally... He's tearing and separating the wheat from the tear. He is. All those mega, church, mega churches, they will all fall to the ground, ladies and gentlemen, unless they repent. But they're going to fall. They are. They are. A time will come when people will not listen.
to accurate teachings. Instead, they will follow their own desires and surround themselves with teachers who tell them what they want to hear. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 3. Some of these pastors are more concerned with entertaining their congregation to keep their numbers increasing. All right. And to keep these offerings going. And a lot. They won't stand for righteousness. A lot of them won't. No, no, no. Sad to say. That pastor. I rebuked that church. I rebuked those pastors up there. That's a false prophet. And that church is not a true. They're not a true worship service. That's not a, that, that's not a, that's not a true church. They better repent. They better repent and turn to the Most High. Can they all be saved? Yes, they can. Because I'm not going to be sitting here and say all that they do because nobody's perfect. People make mistakes. Yes. But if they don't repent, because these people are supposed to be pastors, leaders, having 40,000 people in their church, watching this clown show, listening to false doctrines, you're leading 40,000 people to hell. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you have a responsibility, and I rebuke you, but can they be saved? Absolutely. Repent. Repent to the Most High of your foolishness and, and the things that you do, and the Most High will forgive you. And all of those people in that church attending, pray for discernment and also repent. That whole damn church, repent to the Most High, to Yeshua HaMashiach. Repent. From your sins, repent, and you will be saved. But if you don't, and you continue this act, you are leading 40,000 people and plus more, whoever watches you and joins you to hell. And that church will fall down if you don't repent. And the Most High will answer if you, if you continue that clown show. He will answer. Let's not forget about that church in Boston, Massachusetts, where he did. He strike lightning, lightning on that church. You don't want to play with God. You don't want to feel the wrath of God. You don't want to be on his bad side. All right? It is better for to, to be corrected by a wise person, okay, than be, you know what I'm saying, than having a crowd of fools praise you, okay? It's better to be rebuked by a wise person than having a, people, a, a group of people cheer you on that are fools, 1,000%. Literally. The grass wither and the flower thereof falls away. But the word of the Lord endures forever. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8. But because... But because... God, who called you, is holy. You must be holy in every aspect of your life. Scripture says, be holy because I am holy. So if you call God your father, live your time as temporary residents on earth in fear. He is the God who judges all. All people by what they have done. And he doesn't play favorites. Realize that you weren't set free from the worthless life handed down to you from your ancestors by a payment of silver or gold, which can be destroyed. Rather, the payment that freed you was the precious blood of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the lamb with no defects or imperfections. He is the lamb who was known long ago before the world existed. Before your good, he became publicly known in the last period of time. Through him, you believe in God who brought Yeshua, Jesus, back to life and gave him glory so your faith 
and confidence are in God. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 15 through 23. Scripture, scripture says, be holy because I am holy. This ain't me speaking. This is God speaking. This is God talking. This is God. A gospel, ladies and gentlemen, without repentance. A gospel without holiness. A gospel without submission. A gospel without transformation is the devil's lie to give false assurance to condemned people. Do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. 1 John chapter 4 verse 1, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, and listen, when a church changes its value to match the current culture, all right, it's no longer following the God of the Bible. It's not following God of the Bible when they want to change it and follow worldly culture. No, no, no. It's following Satan. Don't become like the people of this world instead change the way you think then you will always be able to determine what god really wants what is good pleasing and perfect romans chapter 12 verse 2 the god of this world satan has blinded the minds of those who don't believe as a result they don't see the light of the good news about christ's glory it is Christ, who is God's image, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. We know that we are from God and that the whole world is under the control of the evil one. 1 John chapter 5, verse 19. Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke. Exhort with all long suffering and teaching to Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. Be ready to spread the word whether or not the time is right. Point out errors, warn people, and encourage them. Be very patient when you teach. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. Ladies and gentlemen, wake up, Tss. plug from this matrix, repent from your sins to Yeshua HaMashiach. Until the next video.